Hello, it's David from the Bonkers Cookery School. It's Sunday night, and you know what time that means. It means that we get to know what our shopping list is for Thursday. So here we go, right? Oh, first of all, um, just to show off my T-shirt. So this is my uh, new T-shirt, meant to come on the 4th of May for Star Wars Day. But look at that. Stay at home and watch Star Wars. That's what we're talking about. Do you know what I mean? Boom. So, here we go. So, next, so, uh, I was comments on, um, on Thursday. I asked people what they wanted me to cook, and burgers were the most popular choice. So, we're going to do posh burgers. So, here we go. Ingredients. Now, this is my nice little picture for the day. So, as you can see, we have ketchup, tomato, ketchup, tomatoes, mustard. We have burger buns, brioche buns. So, here we go, this is, this is the one. So what we're gonna do is, we are going to cook the ultimate burger. I've done it in layers for you here as well. So that's the top and that the bottom on the burger bun. Can't get brioche, don't worry about it. Just get a burger bun that you like, all right? Brioche is just a bit of, um, it's fashionable, okay? It's on trend, people like a brioche bun. It's softer, it's nice, I don't mind it. Um, bit of both. You know, um, you can have a brioche bun, you could have a normal soft um, burger bun, whatever you can get hold of, because I know it's still tough out there, okay? Um, cheese, now, whatever sliced cheese you like. Now, personally, burger cheese, guilty pleasure, everybody likes a bit of burger cheese, but Gouda Emmental, a mild, creamy cheese. Doesn't have to be too heavy, all right? Just too strong, okay? It just needs to be a nice cheese, really good one. All right, but mild and creamy, and, and get the slices, because you can cut them to the size you want, all right? I'll show you a little trick with those like, um, on Thursday, all right? Tomato, can, this is a dodgy one. Some chefs out there hate tomato in burgers. I like tomato in burgers. You put it in the right place in your burger, and you never have soggy buns, and that's the worst thing you can have. Lettuce, whatever lettuce you like, right? But. Um, what I'm going to do, if some people want gluten-free, we're going to do a gluten-free burger as well on Thursday. So I'm going to show you how to do one with lettuce leaves, okay? So nice sized lettuce leaves. Uh, cos lettuce is really good, okay? I've written that down there, cos lettuce, if you want that as well, okay? Um, beef. Now, some chefs will say that you need loads of fat in your beef burgers and then some really good fats, okay? And, and, and less fat, right? So it kind of binds together. Now, if you go to the supermarket, they've got um, three different types of bur burger mints. You have five percent fat, fifteen percent fat, twenty percent fat. Go for the five percent fat. It's beef mints. It's still good, okay? And you can still make it work. As far as I'm concerned, I use five percent beef, um, uh, five percent fat beef mints, and it's perfect. It does exactly what I want it to do, okay? And I always make a good burger, right? And also. Your choice, not mine. If you want to do a chicken burger, buy some chicken. If you want to do a vegetarian burger, get a large portobello or flat mushroom, and I'll show you what to do with that on Thursday. Okay? I'm not going to put um, the beef mince, probably get a 500 gram pack. If you've got four of you, that should do you, all right? Maybe a little bit more if you've got a feed of brood of people, all right? But we're going to make small patties because we don't want it to be too much meat. We want it to be all about the sat the flavours that go in between. Avocado, always a good winner. We like I like avocado in my burgers. Also, on the bottom, not an exhaustive list. Your choice. I'm gonna do a like a, a mezze board for burgers, okay? It's like a burger sharing board. When I go around my friend's house, they'll know who I'm talking about. I do a burger a burger night. And it is a good burger, right? But the choice is theirs. Because everybody, it's a bit like Marmite. You either like it or you don't. So all your flavours are based on your preference. If you like a burger with bacon in it, put bacon in it. If you like a fried egg in it, put a fried egg in it. If you're Australian, put beetroot in it. If you're Australian, put pineapple in it, the crazy loons. All right? Whatever you fancy, okay? Any of these ingredients you want to buy, go and grab them. I'll show you how to assemble them. But the most important thing is your bun, your beef, your lettuce, tomato, cheese, and that's it, all right? Everything else is your choice. But I'm gonna show you how I make my burger. You make it look as good as you want, all right? We're not doing fries, okay? So we're gonna be good. We're not gonna do any chips. But if you want me to show you the ultimate chip, I do a good chip as well, all right? So I'm gonna show that there. 
Okay? Probably bring it in a little bit so you can see what's going down, so you can have a read. That's what we're looking for next week. Take a screenshot, I'll do a list anyway underneath in the comments. And that's your bits and pieces. Okay? There you go. Remember, about 500 grams, half a kilo. If you want more, get a kilo, and I'll show you how to make a good burger, all right? The other thing we're gonna do is because we're going doing burger, it's a bit dirty, dirty burgers, always the best, we're gonna try and do a healthy dessert. So we're gonna make a raspberry fall, but we're gonna use, instead of using um, cream, which is always a winner, right? We're gonna do low-fat Greek yogurt, okay? And we're gonna mix some piece, bits and pieces with that. So what we're gonna make, we need some Greek yogurt like last time, same amount, 250 grams. Some honey, doesn't matter what quality honey, whatever you fancy. Icing sugar, just a small teaspoon of icing sugar, not a lot, just enough to, to sort out our berries. Some porridge oats, porridge oats are great. Um, if you've got Weetabix, Weetabix is pretty good as well. Nice touch, right? So we'll show you how to do that. Or anything like that, so Weetabix, um, porridge oats, some a bit of crunch, all right? Even, even if you've got crunchy nut cornflakes, we might make a little powder with that, whatever you like, all right? Um, raspberries, one punnet of raspberries will do, okay? Some chopped nuts, now if you're allergic to nuts, um, maybe go for a slice of bread, because we'll make some sweet croutons, okay? But that is all you need for the dessert. So we're gonna have a pudding, and we're gonna have a burger, okay? Um, so that's everything for that. Yeah, let me show you a little bit more, there you go, okay? Cool. Okay, so um, obviously in the comments below, I will still add all the ingredients as well. Um, and yeah, so um, equally in the comments, I will also put the links to YouTube, um, Facebook Live, um, and um, Instagram. Just follow me wherever you can. I know it's everything's getting a bit back to slowly getting back to normal. So you know, I know people are busy and people are allowed to see folks. See your folks first, I'm not that important, okay? But it'd be really nice to all meet up on Thursday and have a, have a laugh. Thursday's one, last Thursday was great. We had a great time. The pictures that I got were fantastic. Some of the um, Willows, Willows wraps were fantastic. Her croffins, fantastic. My sister's croffins, they were fantastic. Um, um, Lucy's um, croffins were great. And I know um, um, relatives are getting uh, some of their food because they're, they're all, watch, um, they're all um, watching what they're eating at the moment, bless them. So keep it up, all right? Keep up the cooking, it's brilliant, all right? So you look after yourself. Um, I will see you on Wednesday with all the equipment. Ain't gonna be much equipment um, on, on Wednesday, but we'll just go through all the ingredients again. Have trouble with ingredients, let me know, and I'll try and change what we're doing, okay? But I'll see you on, um, I'll see you on Wednesday, and then look forward to cooking live on Thursday. Take it easy, bye-bye.